When it comes to video editing, editing audio is a crucial part that you should not ignore. In today's video, I am going to give you an in-deep tutorial on how to edit your audio in Filmora 9. You will also learn how to use audio keyframe, add audio fade in, fade out effect as well as some important techniques that will help you make better videos in the future. Let's getting started now. In Filmora 9, there are different ways to pull out the audio editor. The first option is to right click on the audio track. Go to adjust audio. A pop-up window will appear on the left corner. Here you can adjust the volume, or change the equalizer, adjust the pitch and so on. You can also pull out the audio editor by selecting edit icon on top of the timeline. On Windows, you can use shortcut, Alt-T to use this feature. Alternatively, you can pull out the audio mixer if you have more than one clips on the timeline. To do that, find the audio mixer icon on top right of the timeline. This audio mixer allows you to control the volume of different clips separately or the master volume of the whole project. Let's see how it works. Currently, I have only one clip on the timeline. I can adjust the volume of this clip by this slider. Or choose stereo or surround. That's how to pull out the audio editor in Filmora 9. Let's learn how to use audio keyframe in this software now. The audio keyframe is needed when you want to increase or reduce a part of the audio track. It's useful when you want to low down the volume of the background music while someone is talking in the video. To add an audio keyframe in Filmora, move the playhead to the position you want on the timeline. Hit the small diamond icon at the bottom of the volume slider. You will need to add another keyframe next to this one to low down the volume of the audio after this point. Move your mouse cursor to the keyframe to adjust the audio volume. Let's see how it works. The audio of the clip is lowing down smoothly. If you want to bring back the volume of the audio, just add some more keyframes. Secondly, let's learn how to apply fade in and fade out effect in Filmora. In Filmora 9, when you move your mouse cursor on top of the audio track, a small marker icon will appear on top right and left of the track. These icons are used to add audio fade in and fade out effect. It's quite handy. You only need to drag the icon to apply the effect. Let's see how the effect works. That's how it should be. Alternatively, you can also put the number of seconds you want in the audio editor. The effect will be changed accordingly. That's how to edit audio and add keyframe in Filmora 9. Here are some tips for beginners. Firstly, make your audio track bigger to see the beat easier. You can adjust the track height with the track manager on top left of the timeline, or by using zoom in and out the timeline icon at the right corner. When you want to stop the video, use the keyboard spacebar on your keyboard, press M to add marker at the position. That's the end of my today's tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you have any question, leave your comment here. For a new visitor, please consider to subscribe to my channel to watch more videos like this. Bye for now.